So the main things that we're going to be doing in this course here is just creating email labels and just exercising the principle of getting things done. So the email labels are broken into three main parts. We have action labels, which have an exclamation mark. We have person labels, which have two at signs. And we have context labels, which have an at sign. So what this will show you is you'll get used to those symbols and how you use them. But the idea is that if you need to wait for an answer, you're going to label it with waiting for because that's an action. You're waiting for something to happen. The other one is action, which means that this is an email that's going to take you two minutes or more to answer. So you're going to put this into a second holding bin called action. Once you get through your email list of two minutes or less, you'll hit your action folder and you're going to go through those, which will take two minutes or more. You have the later action which is you'll deal with this at some point in the future when you've got time. And someday is just complete pushed off. It's not relevant to really anything, uh, but you do want to get to it at some point. If you want to bring up something with a specific person, what you'll do is you'll label it with a person label. So as an example, I've written down here a manager. So if you get an email that you want to deal with with your manager, then you'd label it at at manager. And the idea behind this is that when you've got time, rather than bombarding them with individual emails uh, every single day or whenever you get an email, when you have a moment and you sit down in your office with your manager, you have 10 minutes, you can go pull up your at at manager label and all the emails you need to reference are in, are in that label nice and organized. Once you've dealt with them, you can remove them from the email. Same thing with employees and here you'd put person's names or you could put whoever you want in these. The context labels are emails that need to be dealt with in a certain context. So for example, if you get an email that you want to read later, it doesn't require you to do an action on it. Let's say you want to read this. You're at the airport, you're at the grocery store, you're waiting in line. You'd go to your at read section and you could just read all the things you put in there that you said you want to read. If you want to remind yourself that you have to get milk today when you leave the office, I'd send myself an email, I'd label it at chores. So then when I'm doing chores, I'd go to my chore label on my Gmail inbox on my phone and I see everything that I've got to do for chores or for errands or for home or for office or for shopping or for any of those kind of ideas. The one single at sign, i.e. a place or an activity, shopping, the mall, home, moms, etc. You'll see how these all come into play when we get into the email inbox.